How's it going? Guys, today we're gonna be doing React Challenge. This is day two. And what are we here to build, you guys? What are we here for today? What are we here for, Sonny? We are here to build the epic Amazon clone, guys. So get excited because this is gonna be one hell of a program that we end up, that we are gonna teach you guys how to build. And it's for beginners, guys. We've broken this thing down. All beginner proof. Get excited. Completely friendly for beginners. So guys, settle in and we are about to get started and bring you so much value. We got Brian Cardona. He says, yo, start. Muhammad is here. Everybody is ready. Guys, sorry, we're a little bit late. We were just trying to make sure everything was working because it wasn't. And now we got it to work. So we're just here and let's deliver massive value. Let's so it, agenda for today's training. We're going to build the Amazon clone. We're also gonna show wins of students from yesterday's portfolio. So you guys remember yesterday, we asked you to give us the portfolio, which I hope that you guys did. And we got a whopping crazy amount of submissions, at least over a thousand. So we're gonna show you yep. guys that too in just a second. And it's then insane. What, what do we have for the agenda? We're just gonna start coding and build Amazon clone, right? Exactly. We're going to show you guys all the portfolios that you guys made, and then we're going to start the coding straight away. And this is what we're going to be building, guys. Are you guys excited to build the Amazon clone? If you are, drop it in the comments below and let us know. Exactly. Damn, guys. Daniel just dropped some donations. Thank you for that. So, hey, nice. All right, Sunny. So, what's going on here? Guys, so you guys went above and beyond for the homework, guys. So we set out the homework to go ahead and use the portfolio that we provided with you guys, for you guys. And we told you how to customize it. And you guys came back with some amazing portfolios. These things look beautiful. We're going to go through some of those in just a bit. But before we do that, Kazi, let's talk about how many people got involved yesterday. Oh, my goodness. It was absolutely insane. We had... Over 4,000 people watching live at any given time. We had over 10,000 comments. And I think we yep. had like, you know, look at this. 5,000 live with 11,000 freaking comments. It was absolute insanity yesterday. And yep. you guys just brought everything you had. And I hope today you're also ready to play out at 100% just like yesterday. And we got over 20,000 people now in the challenge, you guys, along with over 9,000 participants. Yo, Sla um, Frank just dropped a donation. Hey, there we go. Thank got you. Got Frank in the chat. Hey, thank you so much for that. Leif is here. Leaf is here. Hey, it's Leaf, actually. I figured it out. So <laughs> the Slack channel is going absolutely crazy. And we received over 800 um plus portfolios so check this out this is actually pretty unbelievable you guys so we're just going to show it to you in just a second oh actually we have it in the slides right there so let's actually yep. show it through the slides beautiful well, good question from Usman below she goes how is this different from the other amazon clone guys if you've seen the previous amazon clone we've done we've gone ahead and upgraded this one so this has full e-commerce functionality. So we're gonna take you from, don't worry if you've never done this before, or if you have done it before, we're gonna show you guys how to go from the complete beginning all the way to having a fully functional e-commerce app with database, with hosting, with Stripe payment processing, everything guys, it's gonna be juicy. It's the whole nine. I hope you guys are pumped. Now, let's going back to here, and this accepts payments and everything, you guys. This is like the real deal. Like this is not just yeah. something we, you know, sometimes we just don't have to put this out, uh, have time to be able to put it on YouTube because this requires a big build. But in this challenge, we're just going all the way. So yeah. let's go forward here. So look at that. We've got 800 submissions. It is nuts. And all of the stuff that you guys are submitting is freaking crazy. I think I'm just going to go ahead and show all of the submissions that we have gotten because it is... Um, you know, blew my mind, dude. Look at blew this. Blew my mind. We, I mean, we were looking at it and we couldn't believe our eyes. How many submissions you guys and all of you guys figured out how to actually host it online. So I'm actually just going through our air table here. You guys are seeing behind the scenes right now. Just goes on forever. And like, look at all of these, right? They're freaking awesome. I was expecting a few, but to hit nearly a thousand submissions. Damn, guys, you guys are awesome. Ooh, that's clean. 
I like that. And bro, I even saw some people went above and beyond and started actually adding code to it. Holy so, crap, like, look, insane. we just broke a thousand right now on <laughs> hey, this live. Let's go, guys. A thousand submissions. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. But That's Sunny, what were you saying? I was saying, so we actually told you guys how to customize the portfolios, but I saw so many of you actually go ahead and add some code. So there was like some of you adding some cool animations. I saw some like Facebook feed stuff going on. Guys, like amazing stuff. Make yourself stand out from the rest. And that's what we're here for. That's why we're here today. Yep, you guys definitely did stuff that stood out. Here are some other cool ones that I wanna actually highlight. So here we have uh, Khalif, and this is pretty cool. I actually love this one. And he's like, I'm Khalif Chestnut. And he goes, and I built dope shit. <laughs> You know, hey. I don't know. To me, it seems pretty cool. Some people might be like, it's unprofessional and he's cussing in there. Everybody has their own style, but I don't know. It makes I, me pay I think attention. Pretty, I think it's pretty cool. I think mean, it's a good approach. It makes me pay attention to him, actually. Yeah. Yosh got a cool one. I want to see some other cool ones. Nikita, Nicholas. That's dope. What do we have here? Robert Fox. But yeah, we got tons of submissions. We're going to keep showing you guys more and more. And with that said, let's continue on to the slides that we have prepared for you. Exactly, guys. So here we go. 2,000 comments. Oh, yeah, Khalif, we actually got him up here. Sayid submitted, yep. Nicholas, Tanme, Robert Fox, Taha Sohil. So your guys' portfolios, and I think we listed some of them out too. So Robert Fox, you did a great job. Nicholas, fantastic. Mario Grosso, incredible. Um, yeah. Hi. Nikita. This has links to the portfolios. You can click one and check it out if you want. Sure thing. So let's do it. So we're going to click on Roberts here. I like his uh, <laughs> condescending Bhaskara. <laughs> nice. Check this out, dude. He goes, I'm Robert Fox. I'm a Pretoria based React.js and vanilla JavaScript developer. Lover of code, coffee, and lack of sleep. Love That's that. That's dope. <laughs> Um, I would want you to make your text so it's easier to read. I mean, honestly, maybe yeah. just have the whole thing white or something. And then yeah, I would say I would say change that to like a white or contrasting color. Mm -hmm. Just because the start is a little bit harder to read. Uh, yeah. I like his about me section here. Check out some of my work. Ooh, nice. He's got the Slack app clone. Nice, dude. Just make sure your pictures actually load, guys. Like, that's super important. Yeah. So make sure you have everything loading. Because that image is not loading. And then you got the testimonial. So nice job here, Robert. Uh, Nicholas, let's go through this. You want to co cover this, Sonny? Yeah, so we've got Nicholas's portfolio. I'm going to pull it up as well and have a look. So lovely little backdrop. And this is a nice example of he's used the correct colors because the text is popping, guys. Popping. It goes well. Right. Very easy to read. If we scroll down, you can see he's got a nice like kind of Apple style color scheme going on. Very much matte colors are being used. Mm -hmm. And then you keep scrolling down. Nice, dude. He even went to the point of if you go down to the skills section, mm -hmm. he added icons for Ooh, his skills. So Python, I love that. That looks clean. That looks really that looks clean. clean. That's innovation on this. And I like so his React JS skills are not up to par. But guess what? By the time you're done with this challenge, your React.js skills are going to be up to par. Exactly, dude. And then exactly. he's got he's his got... work here. So let's see. His That's image it. is loading. Nice. I think this actually is leading to a real thing. Oh, dope. That's super cool. Nice, man. dude. Nice work. Awesome job. And uh, we apologize if we couldn't cover some of you guys just because there's thousands of submissions. Um, but for some of you, what we're going to do is we're going to make personalized videos for you, giving you feedback. So be prepared for that. I think that's going to be really cool. Um, I think exactly. let's move on. Let's so, do it. Great job, Mario and everybody else who participated. Thank you so much, guys. Now, before we continue, here's how to use units and learning modules in the Facebook group for this five day react challenge. So yep. on the left hand side, you can see, let me actually pop up my pointer. So over here, you can see that there are units. What we have done is under those units, we've organized all your homework assignments all into one place. And then the post you'll be able to see on the right hand side like this. Go ahead. Yeah, Sonny. really important, really important stuff, guys, by the way. Make sure that because I saw loads of people asking, uh, is it too late or is it too like 
late to submit my homework guys as long as you join before the finishing date on the on the five day challenge you can be a part of this right yep so with that said we want you guys we want you guys to maximize the return on investment from this challenge yep. so if you're new today or you're watching from yesterday we want you to actually code along with us today mm -hmm. if you're stuck or confused it's completely okay join that slack community push a facebook comment keep it positive and guys keep optim uh, optimistic about this and then we want you to challenge yourself cover things in detail um and guys oh yeah we we actually go ahead and cover everything that we're going to do today inside of our course profit with javascript so yep. if you guys know what profit with javascript is then kazi give them a breakdown what is profit with javascript profit with javascript is our flagship course at clever programmer it's absolutely incredible in my opinion in my humble opinion, is the best JavaScript course and React course on the planet. And we're gonna be adding tons of React-based content to it as well. So that's something we're gonna be opening the doors to pretty soon after this challenge you know, is coming to an end. So just be prepared for that and have the date, September 13th, kind of in your calendar and locked down because once we open the doors and then once we close the doors, we're not gonna be opening enrollment to Profit with JavaScript for multiple months after that exactly guys once it goes up it does not come back yep. down so like make take advantage of that if you can't keep up with sunny guys it's okay do the best you can rewatch the video we'll give you the solution files make sure you do the homework and participate in the group that is important some people messaged me and they were like hey i'm really frustrated i got a message actually from patch so i'll show you his message and i think it'll resonate with you guys a lot he messaged me on instagram so i'll just pop that up right over here so let's go to patch and here was his message if i can pop this open right so he goes yo man oops not, not this one right here he goes yo man i've been hitting the homework hard today but my stuff ain't working frustrating as fuck when i try to run the npm install and all that it's not working been at it for three hours and haven't gotten anywhere can't seem to get any help from slack group anyway just wanted to let you know i've been trying like hell but we'll see if i get it done and running by tomorrow's stream and then uh, here's what happened after that. So I reached out to him again and I was like, hey, how's everything going? We made a little group to make sure we could help him out. But then he messaged me and he was like, I actually just finished it. Took me since yesterday to figure out the problem. And boom, here's his portfolio. Nice, yeah. dude. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah that's what we're talking about so how cool is that guys give it up for patch i think that is freaking pretty phenomenal you know drop that some love awesome, for dude. uh patch and also l hit that like button whether you're watching it on facebook or youtube and again if you want to participate in the challenge and get the prizes you'll have to be in the facebook group the link is in the description below so guys you can figure this out just don't give up. Sometimes you might feel a little frustrated and that's okay, but we're gonna keep going. We're all in this together. Um, exactly. Now to break this down for you guys and to make this as smooth as it can be, especially for those of you who are complete beginners, we've split the three days up into very manageable components, right? So today the game plan is simple. We're gonna build the full user interface, uh, which has React Router implemented. So let's go ahead and load the next. Yep, we are, we're gonna build the full user interface. We're gonna have a basket page, which is gonna use the React Context API. So that's actually gonna go ahead and use something which is similar to Redux. So if you've heard of Redux, we're gonna cover that today. And then we're gonna deploy the app at this stage. So this is part one. We're gonna deploy the app at this point and it's gonna go up on Firebase and you guys are gonna be able to share that link and actually have your app live on the internet. Yep. And remember guys, you'll learn all of this in Profit with JavaScript course that we'll be launching next week. So some details we might not be able to cover in this challenge, but we'll try to go as fast as possible. But then for those of you who wanna take it to the next level, that's gonna be in Profit with JavaScript. So we're just letting you know ahead of time so then you can get the best deal and the best information as soon as possible. Um, now, when it comes to homework, go ahead, Sunny. Yeah, so today, guys, the homework is going to be uh, quite interesting, actually. So we're going to teach you guys how to go ahead and build the basket component. Um, but we're going to leave something as a little bit of a challenge, right? So you can see here we've got the subtotal, which shows you the total price of items inside of your basket. We're going to show you how to use React Context API. We're going to show you how you can dynamically update that little basket icon in the top right-hand corner and things like that. 
and then it's going to be up to you guys to see to take what we've taught you and see if you can solve this challenge for tomorrow and tomorrow we're going to go over the solution we're also going to give you some other uh, little extras so you can add some new products to the home page so that your amazon clone stands out from the rest then we want you to go ahead screenshot your app deploy your app um, to Firebase and we're going to show you how to do that and then go ahead and submit it in the Airtable link that we've given you and then guys make sure you always post this on Facebook because that's how you're going to rack up those points Hell and yeah. get in for a chance of winning that prize beautiful and again you're going to be picking all of this up in profit with JavaScript so let's go ahead are we done with the slides we are done with the slides dude awesome so guys now it gets real and we're about to roll up our sleeves that we don't have to get into the coding challenge and now we're going to get started building the amazon project i only have one question for you guys are you ready exactly guys let us know in the comments right now smash that thumbs up let's get ready for this build guys guys let's go and now we're just going to jump into it keep your energy high because this is one problem that happens to developers your shoulders will start to slump. You'll start to get tired. But persevering through this is what's going to get you to the next level. Remember your why that you told us yesterday. Some of you are doing this for your family. Some of you are doing this so you can become your own boss. Some of you are doing this so you can support your mom. Guys, that is where the why shows up. The ones who are going to drop off today are the ones who are not going to become developers in the future. The ones exactly, who drop guys. off today are the ones who are not going to become developers of tomorrow. So make sure you're the one who doesn't do that, right? If you have that in you and you can persevere, then we can get through this. So if you're committed to doing the challenge today and finishing this entire thing that we're going to do today and deploy it to Firebase, then make sure you drop in the comments below right now that I'm committed to building this project today, no matter what it takes. That exact thing. I want to see it in the comments below with that said let's get started let's do it bro so the first thing that we're going to have to do is let's hop over to vs code so we asked you guys yesterday if you hadn't already got vs code make sure you go ahead and get vs code because you're going to need it to follow along with us yeah me and cars are actually doing something called vs live share right now so if i type on the screen yep. you can actually see i'm inside of kazi's programming uh and just to yes, be so very right clear because i think one thing we didn't share is like this is the exact thing you guys are going to be building uh today okay so you know we're going to have the add to basket functionality it'll be deployed online so you'll be able to see it and then you'll be able to route to different pages and things like that all right i'm going to put exactly. this to the side now so so now guys what we're going to do is we are first going to go ahead and open up um the terminal so let's yep. go ahead and open up a terminal. So Command J is the terminal in VS Code if you're on uh, Mac. Mm -hmm. And what you want to do, guys, is do. Let me. I just think I need read and write permission, so I'm going to go ahead and request read and write. All right, here we go. There we go. And now, guys, what we want to do is we want to use a tool called uh, MPX. So we're going to do MPX, uh, and we're going to do create React app. So this is a tool by the guys over at Facebook and you want to give it a name. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and say Amazon clone like that. Right. So you make sure you use dashes and it's MPX create react app Amazon clone. That's going to go ahead and set up a starter template for you guys when you are coding with react. And that's going to give you everything you need to get started with this build today. So just let that go ahead and get installed. And while that's happening, Kazi, let's go ahead and head over to firebase.com. Yep. So now that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to open up a new tab, type in firebase.com. Boom. Yep. And Firebase, basically what it does, guys, is it allows you to have a database and allow to, allows you to host your app online. If you're confused about what a database is, it just allows you to save things so they don't go away the next time you're there. Okay. Simple as that. Exactly. Uh, oh, dude, I think a few, a few people are saying the music's a little distracting. Let me put it down. Okay. Maybe lower. Yeah, we'll maybe kill it. We'll drop kill it a it. tiny bit. All right. It's gone. Don't worry, guys. Let's focus. Nice. So now, guys, uh, yeah, as Kazi said, all you need to get started with Firebase is a Gmail account. So go ahead and go over to the console. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead. Sure. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to change. Man, my computer is really starting to slow down. I'm going to try to kill everything I don't need. So give me one second, guys. 
Nice. And guys, while he does that, I'll explain what we're going to be using Firebase for. So Firebase is going to be used for the hosting right now. Today, we're going to be using it for the hosting. Tomorrow, we're going to go ahead and connect our database over to Firebase so we can pull in some information, some products and things like that. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and also use Firebase Cloud Functions, which is interesting. We've never done that before in, in these builds. We're going to go ahead and use Cloud Functions to go ahead and get this thing connected to Stripe so that we can process and take payments on this website. Yep. Right, so it's going to be an awesome build. And, yeah. And all dope. of those things are pretty much going to be done through Firebase. Yep, exactly. Yep. Exactly. Okay, so my computer is starting to pick up. I just really nice. hope it won't crash. If it does crash, no problem. We're just going to go live in this Facebook group again. So when you guys come back, it'll just be right at the top of the Facebook group. If you're watching it on YouTube, it'll also pop up for you. So just be aware of that um, little disclaimer. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit go to console. Yep. On Firebase. Go. Cool. And then once this is here, you're going to click on the create project option. And all you guys need to do is on that create project is type in the same thing that we did for create react app. So it was just going to do Amazon dash clone. And if you've already got one, in this case, we've already got one, we could rename it to something different. So in this case, so it we're could just be gonna call Amazon. It like, um, we're just going to call it um, Amazon challenge. Yeah. Nice. All right. But you're calling it, um, it won't conf yeah, this is just simple. So you guys can just call it Amazon Challenge and you'll be fine. Yeah, you can call it Amazon Challenge. Okay. At this point, the name doesn't matter here, guys. It's purely sort of aesthetic. Yep. And then for the Google Analytics, you can choose to enable it or disable it. It's not going to make a difference. Yep. Well, yep. Now what we are going to do is we are going to wait till that goes ahead and sets itself up. And then we're going to go ahead and grab the configuration file from Firebase. And what that's going to do, it's just a simple sort of config file. So it's pretty much just a uh, an object that we're going to grab from Firebase. And that's going to allow us to connect our front end React app yep. over to Firebase. So that's like the missing piece of the puzzle, right? So, um, oh man, what's that? So we are there. I'll, what I'll do is I'll just switch to my other email and then try from there. Yeah, let's do that. So we have built so many projects on that one account and so many people are hitting that like yeah. it literally is just maxed out. So I'm just going to go here, but I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. So nothing has really changed for you. If you just did Amazon challenge, that's totally fine. Or if you did Amazon clone, that's fine too. So I'm just going to hit continue, continue. Yep. And uh, all right, here we go. You don't need to add Google Analytics to it unless you want to. Oh, hmm. Interesting. So a lot of people are actually getting that. So Google is actually seems to have that issue. So guys, at this point, it's completely fine. We don't need to set this up right now. If everyone's getting the same error, don't freak out. Don't panic. Yep. We can go ahead and build the rest of the app and we can fix this afterwards. So we're all good. Yep. We're all good. We're don't all good out, for guys. now. We're going to just yeah. go ahead, build the app, and then we're going to come to this a little bit later. Dope. Exactly. So at this point, we are coming to an end for the Create React app. So once that go ahead and gets installed, the first command that we're going to run is something called npm start. So it's just about finished. Now, once it goes ahead and get done, you need to make sure you see the into the correct folder, right? So <clears throat> We're going to make sure um, it's just taking a little bit of time today. But for you guys, I mean, it's pretty. Let us know, guys, has your MP uh, Create React app finished? And if it does, what is, what is the message that comes up? It should say happy something. So if you guys already got to that stage, let us know. Your computer's going pretty fast right now. Yep. Then, um, yeah, let us know. And once this is loaded, we can get started and we can get running, guys. Yep. It's almost Let's go ahead and, yeah, it's almost done there, guys. Yep. Guys, let us know in the chat. Are you guys are you guys from oh nice dude? Hey, happy hacking. You see that? Everyone's jumping in. Happy hacking. Are you serious? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Damn. My, my computer <laughs> That's insane, just dude. my computer is just so slow right now that I'm just like I'm I closed everything that I possibly could. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> I've, I've, I'm you're gonna be my eyes for all of that stuff. 
Damn, dude, that's crazy. Yeah, like everything's flying in right now. It says it's going crazy. Yeah, so I think the Google servers might be temporarily down. I mean, guys, there's too much fire with this challenge right now. <laughs> Everyone's hitting that, that <laughs> Firebase server. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, because we're promoting it so much that maybe like Firebase is like, hey, can't handle it anymore. Just freaking out, dude. Oh, man. So everyone's got to that point. So what I want you guys to do, if you're at this point, we'll just talk you through it. And then we'll, we'll actually show you this while it happens. So it will say happy hacking and then it will say CD into whatever folder was created. So I want you guys to go ahead and do CD Amazon challenge. If you named it Amazon challenge. And once you're inside that folder, Hey, it just worked for us. Wait, there is this, go. it didn't say that before, right? It did. It's always said happy hacking. Oh, yeah. really? Nice. Okay. Yeah. Happy hacking. Nice. Okay. So we're now going to CD into this folder. So if I showed you my, uh, directory, Wait, where did it where did it build it? I don't see that folder. Uh oh, you you good. called yeah. it Amazon clone? Yeah. Got it. Okay. Awesome. Nice. Sweet. And you guys don't need this file. I just sometimes have clever programmer JS for fun, but basically it should look like this. Amazon clone. And that's all you should have in here for now. Exactly. But okay. once you get to this point, guys, you just want to CD into the folder like Kazi just did. Yep. And then if you to, to make sure you're in the correct folder in the terminal, if you just type in LS, it should say things like README, package JSON, node modules, and that sort yep. of stuff. So you should get uh, you should see that stuff. And with, now what we're gonna LS. do is hit npm start once you're in there, because what that will do is it will start running the app on your local host. Um, so if it runs, which, you know, we're waiting for it right now, but as soon as it runs on the right hand side, you will see a spinning react logo. And what that basically means is, Hey, our app is running. All right. And while that happens, cause my computer I is, five, I think Firebase is good now, dude. Really? Yeah. So I think Firebase has come back on. So we've got, <laughs> it's so cool how everyone informs us of Firebase's status. But yeah, I think Firebase is back up now. So a lot of you guys are actually getting through on Firebase. Um, we can go ahead and give that a second try while our app starts up. I love how it goes down while we are live. You know, this is what they say, like what we're going to code live. What can go wrong? <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Here. I was wondering, I was like, they've given us a fair, Build on five. Uh oh. Why is Sunny disconnecting? Uh oh. All right. Sunny, you disconnected for a little bit. So now you're back. So that's really good. All right. I'm going to try okay. it. It says you're one project away. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So let's see where so, the Amazon challenge that I did. So I'm going to click on the Amazon challenge one. Hopefully allows me to be in. Yep, right. Now I'm in. Beautiful. Nice. Now what you want to do is on the top left, you see that little icon there. Yep. You want to click that. Type mm -hmm. in Amazon challenge. Okay. Amazon challenge. Also set up Firebase hosting. Yeah. Register app. Exactly. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now the next step you don't actually need to do. You We're can click next. next. And Ma then this one is important, guys. So you're going to need to run this command. But you're probably going to need to write sudo in front of it. So we'll so show sudo. you guys how to do this. Okay. So I'm going to just open up another terminal here. And I should have it in my... So you're going to do sudo npm install global Firebase like that. And then type in whatever password is for your computer. If you're yep. on Windows, you might not need sudo. Just try npm install. Yep, exactly. Did they, did they do sudo or are they still in like... Yeah, you need to do sudo if you're installing something globally. Even on I Windows, mean, most, right? Uh, I think maybe. If I mean, like, if you guys use Windows and you know what the alternative is, let us know. I think it's still sudo, though, yeah. Okay, dope. And by the way, Nas, now, did we drop it in Slack yeah. that we're live? Okay, beautiful. Guys, I just want to say as well, like, if Firebase is not working, it's okay at this point. So do not worry. Like, yeah. do not worry. It's we will also fine. drop There's a solution to it later, too. So don't worry about that. Yeah, but focus on the React stuff. The React stuff's the important bit here. All right, and then we don't need to worry about this right now either, right? No, not yet. All not right, yet. so we're just going to hit continue yeah. to console then, which is hidden behind my and Sunny's face. So it was like literally where <laughs> our screen was supposed to be was showing up. Yeah. All right, so now I got that code. Um, or now what, what do we do, Sunny? Right, so now you're going to do is go over to the top left inside of the Firebase console. Uh-huh. 
the burger menu. Uh, click that. Yep. Click that little project settings icon on the top right. Yep. The gear. Nice. And then click on project settings. The project settings. And now when we're in here, we're going to grab that little snippet of code that you're going to need. So let's go yep. all the way down here and hit config. And inside of our config, we're just going to copy this. Um, exactly. And then should we just make a new file right here in source? Yep. Let's go ahead and make a new, a new file. file. Let's call it firebase.js. Yep. And then we're just going to go ahead and paste everything that we got right over here and uh, yep. hit save. Exactly. Now, remember, guys, it's completely fine to do this afterwards, the Firebase step. So, But that's what we need to do at this point, right? Yeah. So with that said, now I think we can actually jump into the coding part of it. So let's go ahead and see if our app ran up on localhost 3000. Yep. So our app is running nicely. Now what hey. we're going to do, so that's a little, uh, let's just hear, hit a... Some air horns nice. right there. Guys, if you got there, let us know. If you see the little spinning react icon, let us know in the comments right now. Because uh, yep. that's amazing. You've got to your first working react app. So now we actually go ahead and Kazi, yep. what's the next step? So that's a thing to celebrate. And now this is Sunny's favorite part. So now, guys, what we're going <laughs> to do is make sure that you just go to all your test files because we don't need them. And we also don't need the logo. So all we're going to do here is just clean it up a little bit. How I selected all of them is I just held command and I clicked on all three of them. So they're all select selected. Now I'm just going to do command delete. All right. And what that does is delete all those three files. On the right hand side, what's going to happen is you're going to see it complain about, hey, a logo is not there. Wah. Okay. Well, that makes sense because we just deleted the file that had the logo in it. So no worries. What we're going to do is we're going to go to um, app.js and I'm going to hit command B and command J, so take away the terminal, so you guys can see more of the screen. And everything that's inside of this div, I'm gonna yep. highlight it, like that. <clears throat> it's good that my computer is going slow, so everybody can actually keep up, even if you're a little bit behind. And instead, I'm just gonna write here like a H1 tag, and yep. I'm gonna say, hello, clever programmers. Let's build the Amazon store. Nice. All right. And I'm going to put a little uh, rocket emoji. I can go ahead and drop one in there if you want. Uh oh. Uh, it, is some, it is some weird stuff. Let me go ahead and drop in. I've got a rocket. There we go. Boom. Oh, my bad. All right. Sweet. Nice. Yeah, my computer is just slowing down a lot. So I'm going to hit save. And now on the right hand side, what you guys are going to see, let's hit refresh here. We need to get rid of the logo as well, guys, on line two. Yep. So you see this line of code right here? Let's go ahead and delete that. Perfect. And so yep, save that file. Boom. There we go. And there we go. Nice. And, and now if I full screen this over here, you guys see how it's in the middle. What we want to do is we want to get rid of some of the styling that's coming through default. So we're going to get rid of that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our files and we're going to go into our... Uh, app.css, we're going to select everything. So I'm just going to command it here, save. That should get rid, and now everything should be left aligned. I'm going to put it back to the right-hand side. We're going to go now into our index.css and get rid of that invisible margin that's kind of always there because we don't need it. Yep. So we're going to pretty much do everything, and we're going to do make, hey, give us zero margin. So let's hit that, save. And now you see there's no margin at the top. Like before, it was giving it margin. And React does that sometimes. Let's go back to our app.js. And yep. here, we're just going to call this app like this because this is following a BEM convention, which is like a really nice naming convention to use for your styling. And um, people yep. like really love this when you know how to do this. And with that said, we're pretty much now ready to get started. Exactly. So awesome stuff, bro. Like now that's a, a great point where you guys are going to get to because we basically have a clean canvas at this point. So what we can do is, uh, Kazi, 